Good morning. I'm Bruce Bracker, a native of Nogales, Arizona, whose family came to Arizona in 1924. I'm currently serving my second term as the uh, Santa Cruz County Board of Supervisors and am its current chairman. I've known his family on the border. That includes all the cousins, aunts, and uncles. Um, my entire life, Adrian is a few years younger than me, and so he went to school with my younger cousins. But I met Secretary-elect uh, five years ago at a conference in Washington, D.C., and have enjoyed many policy debates with him since. Secretary of State-elect Adrian Fuentes is a proud Marine veteran, a former prosecutor, a county recorder, excuse me, I lost that, and um, county recorder. He understands the important role of Secretary of State plays in our state government, our business community, and protecting our democratic Republic. I know that he will serve with integrity and honor. Notably, Secretary of State-elect Fuentes will be the first Hispanic executive officer in 48 years in Arizona. He will be the first Hispanic Secretary of State and only the second Hispanic executive in Arizona's history, both of whom lived in Nogales. With deep roots in Nogales and Santa Cruz County, Secretary of State-elect Fuentes will represent rural Arizona and every Arizonan with pride. As Secretary of State, he will be dedicated to serving both county and municipal governments and serving everyday needs of businesses and Arizona citizens. So it is my deep honor to welcome Adrian Fuentes, our next Secretary of State. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Supervisor Bracker, and uh, thank you very much, Pastor Wade, for those uh, words and that lovely invocation. Thank you to the American Post Legion 41 for hosting us here today. It was at this building where I announced my intention to seek this office, so it is fitting that we are here today. Uh, while I'm waiting more results in key races, uh, I am confident in where we stand in our uh, are based on the calls of the Associated Press and other outlets. I look forward to official canvas results. That being said, current, uh, given the current margins, uh, I'm comfortable to say that we have won. <laughs> Arizona, uh, you have protected democracy, and I proudly accept being elected as Arizona's 21st Secretary of State. To my mom, my dad, my partner Nicole, my daughters Adriana, Isabella, and Olivia, I know how hard this has been for all of you. I couldn't have done it without your love and support and patience. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with everything the past year and a half. Uh, I, I really love you all. Uh, if you're watching or listening, or if you will, after school today, that's fine. Uh, I want to thank my team, which is, by the way, entirely Arizona-based, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, almost a, a lot of them are here today. I'm going to run through the list. You'll indulge me. My chair, Marlene Woods, campaign manager, Jeannie Lunn, my comms director, Matt Grotsky, my political director, Sophie O'Keefe Selman, uh, Latino Outreach Manager Tony Moya, my Senior, advantage, uh, senior Advisor uh, Steve Slagaki, Ted Anderson, Wes Gullett, Bettina Nava, Finance Director Ashley Rubio, my Volunteer Coordinator, who's actually from Arizona, but she moved last summer, uh, this past summer, to Pennsylvania, Karen Hassan, still in Arizona as far as I'm concerned, Alex Wilkinson, Tessa DeConcini, Maddie Match, Sophia Greenhill, Sailor Pritchett, Cassidy, Cassidy Connolly, uh, Chris Wedigan, Chris Hedgecock, uh, Dan Bigler and Sam Almy. Thank you to my union brothers and sisters in organized labor. Thank you to all of our partners in the business community. We, we can all be on the same side sometimes. I want to thank all of the community leaders and organizations who backed us. Uh, we had several forces on the ground, including Mission for Arizona and our good friends at Chicanos por la Causa, who did a lot of work on the ground. And in the air, uh, we were joined by the Democratic Association of Secretaries of State. Uh, these are folks, uh, including elected officials, who stuck their necks out for us. And particularly, I want to uh, send a shout out to the independents and Republicans, part of this strong coalition, bipartisan, multipartisan and nonpartisan coalition of Arizonans who really cared a lot more about country than party. 
Your service to our republic is inspiring. Let's keep up the work together uh, as we move forward. I also want to thank particularly the election workers and staff, many of whom are still working as we speak right now in all 15 counties across Arizona. You faced down threats, harassment, and uncertainty, none of which was justified in any way, shape, or form, all in the name of serving your communities and your countries. If you're an elections official or a worker out there, you should be filled with pride knowing uh, that you have helped to protect and preserve our democracy. There is nothing more admirable, and you don't get any credit. So I'd love to have a round of applause for all those folks out there doing that work. And, and, and finally, and, and, and frankly, most importantly, I want to thank the voters of Arizona uh, who voted by mail, who voted in person, uh, who made their voices heard, who used that motto that democracy is a decision. You made your decision. Uh, and as a whole state, we made our decisions. We have to start the healing process. It is time uh, to end the divisiveness. It is time to end the partisanship, particularly when it comes to election administration. It is time to end the lies. As Secretary of State, I represent all Arizonans, regardless of whether or not you voted for me. I am going to have your best interest in mind as a voter. That is what's important here. That's what this country is about. It's about putting aside our differences for the collective good. I will make it my mission to bring us closer to, than we have been uh, during these last few years. The America of tomorrow is an America where being an American is more important than your political party. We have to embrace dignity for our fellow human beings and work to become Americans who represent our neighbors regardless of how they vote. My fellow Arizonans, I promise to always honor and defend the ideal of fair and honest elections with the voters of Arizona, and I will help reignite the flame of unity in this republic. Thank you all very much. What do you say? Let's get to work, everybody. All right. Now, I'm happy to take a few questions, uh, if there are any, uh, from the media at this time. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> Look, we can have a little bit of fun once in a while. I have not yet heard from Mr. Fincham, uh, but I'm sure that as every uh, decent and reasonable American politician has done in the past, uh, he will do the right thing at the end, or at least I hope he will. As you noted, some of your staff, former staffers and workers down there over at the recorder's office, you just talked about it, how even to this day, they're still getting a lot of grief in this uh, for the hard work that they do. Can you even say enough about what they do and for this election? I mean, everyone asking for change in it, but I think they're doing just fine. Well, I, I agree. I think they're doing just fine as well. The folks who are working on these elections, people forget these are Republicans and independents and Democrats. They're our neighbors. And to say that there is anything fraudulent uh, or wrong with an election is to say that the very character of Americans who do this work is flawed. And that's not true. We know that's not true. The conspiracy theories and the lies, we all know where they stem from. And that's got to go away. Not just because it's wrong, but because we know that it's wrong. It's been proven wrong. And so those folks deserve a heck of a lot more credit, respect, and dignity for the fine work they're doing for all of us. Uh, I hope we can get past this dark and, and, and dank chapter in American history and move on to dealing with the issues uh, that Americans need to be dealing with. Anyone else? That being said, do you expect uh, Mark Fincham to come out after, after this rally and talk about him uh, opposing this? Well, I don't know what he would be opposing, the will of the voters? I suppose, uh, what would he be talking about? Look, the bottom line is this. Arizona has spoken, but it's not just Arizona. Folks, we've seen election denialists uh, go uh, the wrong way in Nevada. We've seen it in Wisconsin. We've seen it in Michigan. Uh, we've seen it across the United States of America. Uh, the, the denialism that has existed has been rejected by the American people. And that's it. As far as I'm concerned, that should be a closed chapter and we should go back to having 
uh, regular normal elections, which will occasionally include some necessary adjustments because human beings are human beings. We cannot have perfect be the enemy of good. Well, let's move forward, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful morning.